In this video, we're going to look at the basics of Flowl. To load Flowl, all you need to do is hit your start menu. Of course, you may have Windows 7, so it will look a bit different, but it will work just the same. And you type in Flowl and it shall appear. Now, this is a program that you do have to pay for. You can download a 30 day free trial from their website, but if you want a permanent copy at home, you do have to pay for it. Now, when we come to Flowl, it will ask us first what we want to do. And uh, it will say, uh, do you want to use a mimic? The actual screen you see is this one, uh, where it will say, uh, file new. And it'll ask you, do you want to use a mimic? Connect to an interface. So that means you can connect it up to real hardware that does things or open a flowchart. So we're going to use a mimic. And we're going to use the zebra crossing. Now I'll make this nice and big so you can see it. A mimic is essentially a picture where you can control things in the picture. And you do it by means of a flow chart. So the flow chart starts with a start and we can do several things. So for example, an out output box, you can turn things off and on. So I'm going to turn the light on. And a delay box like this, means that you can delay for an amount of time. I'm going to put in 0.8 seconds. Okay. And I am then going to put in another one of these. I'm going to turn the light off and then I'm going to wait for another 0.8 seconds. Just like that. What makes flow all work is the arrows that flow between the boxes. So we start at the start and then we turn the light on. We then want to delay for 0.8 seconds, so the light stays on for 0.8 seconds, and then we're going to turn the light off. And then lastly, we'll delay for another 0.8 seconds. Now, what I can do is I can put an end in here, uh, so a stop, and draw that. And when I run it using the run button down here, what you'll see is the light goes on and off. We can actually slow down the speed in Flutl to see what's happening. So it starts at the start, turns the light on, delays, turns the light off, delays, and stops. Of course, that only makes the light flash once. And we could, if we wanted, turn the light back on again and off again and on again. But if we want it to go forever, then we need to do something slightly different. So I'm going to close that, and I'm going to put an arrow and after it delays for 0.8 seconds, I want to turn the light on again. Now I'm going to put it back up to normal speed so that we can see it. And what you'll see is it goes through the algorithm, turning the lights off and on, on and off, on and off, all the way through like that, just like a real controller would in a system like this. So that's the real simple basics of Flowl. We've got the symbols down here. I'm going to stop this. We've got start and stop. We've seen the delay, which stops the program for a certain amount of time. And we've got the output. The other symbols we are going to cover later on in future videos.